very much for your kind introduction. Apo Rokito Ablan, kente entero nga pamilya Ablan, congratulations on Ablan Day. Aming nga opisyales ti probinsya, ti Ilocos Norte, kaya nagigay na dumaduma nga ili ti Ilocos Norte. Our other visitors who are here today, we have of course with me, cabinet members, Secretary June Abdani, Gabby Claudio, and Jake Lagunera. We have uh, Under Secretary Escueta representing Secretary Puno. And um, we have Deputy Speaker Singson. We have Congressman Victor Ortega. We have uh, Deputy National Security Advisor Chavit Singson. And uh, many other dignitaries. Kaputi entero nga amyanan. Ken kada kayo amin. Diyos na gina, na yung bagal daw, and happy a blood day ka na kayo amin. Apo Rokito, agyam na ang invitasyon nyo. Iti pa nagselebrar tayo, iti birthday day di Rocky Ablan Sr. Iti ba day dayo una yung lakay ti Ilocandia, kin war hero, kin may kasanga great Filipino patriot. Day di Rocky Ablan Sr. iti Kaubingan ka senador, iti Ilocos Norte. Kita mo iti probinsya, nasakbay pa'y, may kasumbrek, isunat iti public service, gapo iti eloquence, keen mind, and his dream of greatness para kadikiti Ilocano. Tata, we recall what Rocky Ablan Sr. stood for in the tiempo na. He built infrastructure, and I'm so happy that we see, and I'm so happy that both Congressman Ablan and Governor Keon uh, recognize the infrastructure we have also built together here in Ilocos Norte as well as in the entire Philippines. <laughs> he built schools, and I am glad that today our administration is giving premium also to education. Taganigigay, Millennium Development Goals, there are eight of them. May isa nga, perhaps no country will be able to achieve, and that is universal primary education. Ngem, that should not stop us from trying to achieve it. And it's important that we build grade school buildings near the houses of our young children so that they have no excuse not to go to school. <laughs> Niroki Ablan Sr. Met built a big hospital. And it said, isn't it a hospital is named after him? So that is also a very important way of investing in our people. And today, uh, what we are doing is we are seeking to upgrade rural health units to primary hospitals, primary hospitals to secondary hospitals. Tatno, uray, adakayo kayo, ti dakkel ng hospital, you will be able to go to a nearby hospital and have simple operations and also you, may, you can be able to have childbirth in the hospital. <laughs> Dakel iti ambisyon ni Roque Ablan Sr. para iti progreso dag iti Ilocano. And he pursued these ambitions with a passion. He gained national prominence in the Dinaya Wisuna dahi di Presidente Manuel Quezon in the construction na dag iti eskwelahan. And I hope that today, here in the province of Ilocos Norte, we don't have a lack of school buildings, right, Michael? Because you are complying with a 45 is to 1, two-shift ratio for grade school. That is the minimum requirement for universal primary education. Dagitig dakkel, dahil inaramid na ni... Uh, the idea, uh, Congress uh, Rock, uh, Rocky Ablan Sr. in the World War II, that was what sealed his fame. 
Saan nga ang paabak the foreign occupation and he formed his own resistance movement. Iti guerrilla nga ablan madamba nga gapu iti support at agiti Ilocano became regarded as invincible in northern Luzon. Malpas iti gera kada giti puwersa iti hapon in 1943, he disappeared. Ken, saan nga nakita? Ngayon, dag iti tatao, they refused to believe that such a brave man as he was would have died during the war. And so, we consider him as a great hero and we hope that his story of courage Kindness can ayat para kadigiti kailian na kaya't ulit-ilitin in ganatata will always instill in our minds the bravery of Rocky Ablan Sr. and all our other heroes of World War II.